<clears throat> now we're going to turn the inside of the cup. We're going to mount it in a four jaw barracuda. First, we're going to wet a piece of leather and wrap it around the lip of the cup. Yeah, just lick it. We'll make sure that it sits all the way to the bottom of the cup. Then we'll open our four jaw chuck. And make sure it sits flush against the bottom as we turn it shut. And we'll check for true. If it's a little bit off, I'll use a wooden mallet to true it up. Turn it off and tighten it. The reason you use a four jaw is because you want even pressure all the way around. If you use a three jaw, you'll end up cracking and splitting your cup. So now we're running true. And we'll set the tool rest up crosswise across the end, just above center. And we'll turn the inside. So you're just above center there? I'm just above center, which is going to give me a nice cut on the inside of the horn. So now we'll turn it on. And we'll just make a nice even pass through here to make sure we're cutting even. We'll take a little more. And I'll start to angle the inside with the shape of the cup. thing to remember when you make this first cut is to bring it straight in, no angles, for about an eighth of an inch to three sixteenths of an inch. That's important for the chime. I've switched my flat scraper for a small round nose scraper because we have to cut a ramp for the bottom to start slipping into. Like so. Never move your tool rest just up and down. Leave it in one spot so you know where you're at. Now I'll finish the inside. Now we're going to mark the cup to cut the chime or the groove in the bottom. We're going to use that pencil line and this tool. This is a chime tool. It's cut at 60 degrees angle and then relieved on the back side so it has a nice cutting edge. Push it in gently. Right at the base of our ramp. We're about a sixteenth of an inch depth. You'll be able to smell this. Then I'll hand spin it to finish the groove. Turn it just a little bit more. I'm going to broaden it just a bit with this second tool, which is 60 degrees, but it's squared. There's no relieved edge. And you see, I have a nice deep groove. 
I did you, Jim. About a quarter to one half the thickness of the stock you're turning into. I'll slightly can it to clean the edges up and then cut the bottom of the groove. Well, we flattened the horn for the bottoms and we're getting ready to turn the bottoms for the cups. So we changed the spur center for a mini four jaw barracuda chuck. We have a pre-turned mandrel that uh, is smaller than the inside diameter of the cup. And we'll tighten, make sure it's in good and solid and tighten down as tight as we can get it. Because this is going to take a lot of pressure. This is what we'll mount the horn to, to turn the bottoms. And then we'll turn it on, make sure it's true, which it is. And we're ready to mount the horn once it comes out of the press. Once you have it mounted and it's turning true, you use uh, some original super glue. You can pick it up just about any dollar store and you're gonna coat the face of the wood with super glue and it's going to seal the wood so that when you apply the horn it has a nice surface to adhere to. Thank you camera. Yes, it was over here. <laughs> So as John explained before we had the camera on, he is currently shaping the bottom of the cup and flattening it out right now. That's pretty flat. Now I'll face off the back here a little bit.